welcome to Taraba News Headlines Review. I am Esther Oka Steven. Here are the top stories. Taraba State Government takes steps to address mental health and economic development. The Taraba State Government has established a committee on mental health and well-being tasked with addressing the growing concern of mental health and substance abuse among the youth in the state. The committee, chaired by Dr. Ebenezer Apake, comprises experts in mental health, law enforcement, and public health. Their objectives include creating awareness on mental health, curbing the availability of illicit substances, and establishing a drug rehabilitation center. In a related development, the Taraba State Government has announced the appointment of Mr. Polycap T. Yamusa as the Acting Managing Director of Taraba Investment and Properties Limited. This move is aimed at revitalizing the economy of Taraba State with a focus on promoting economic development and stimulating investment. The establishment of the Committee on Mental Health and Well-Being and the appointment of Mr. Yamusa demonstrates the state government's commitment to addressing the pressing issues of mental health and economic development. Governor Kefas presents official vehicles to special advisors on Muslim and Christian affairs. In a remarkable display of commitment to promoting religious harmony and understanding, Governor Abu Kefas of Taraba State has presented official vehicles to his special advisors on Muslim affairs and Christian affairs. Malam Husseini Ismail and Reverend Father Sunday Muka Patrick, respectively. This ceremony, which took place at the government house, showcased the governor's dedication to supporting his aides in their mission to foster greater understanding and cooperation among the diverse religious groups in the state. The special advisors expressed their heartfelt gratitude to Governor Kefas praising his vision for a harmonious and peaceful Taraba state where people of all faiths can coexist and thrive. House of Reps proposes stringent penalties for national anthem defaulters. In a significant move to uphold national pride and unity, the House of Representatives has introduced the Counter Subversion Bill 2024, which seeks to impose stringent penalties on individuals who refuse to recite the national anthem or engage in subversive activities. The proposed legislation, sponsored by Speaker Tajuddin Abbas, aimed to instill a sense of patriotism and loyalty among Nigerians. The bill stimulates severe penalties including fines and prison sentences for offenses such as refusing to recite the national anthem, destroying national symbols, and imposing illegal curfews. The reintroduction of the old national anthem, Nigeria with LD, has sparked debates among citizens.